know. Up. I'm up. I probably just got up within the last 18 minutes. I brush my teeth. My brain is telling me to go to the gym. My back is telling me that's not a good idea. And my feet are like, please don't do it. So I don't think I'm gonna go today. I think I'm gonna just rest a little bit. Um, take some time and just get my mind together. I have a call with my mentor at 10. And usually I feel better after speaking to him and we pray and such. So I'm hoping that that'll get me in a better mood. I'm not in a bad mood, I just feel out of place. And my back hurts. My back definitely hurts. So, and then I think there is a little air of disappointment with myself because I'm not going to the gym, but today's gonna be one of those days where any extra pressure on the feet is not a good idea. And um, it's just my back. So I'm probably gonna take some time to stretch. I should probably go to the pool and get in a jacuzzi. That's probably what I should do and just sit in a jacuzzi and then for a little while. So first I'm gonna get my coffee. After I get my coffee, I'm gonna go check on the pool and make sure they even have a jacuzzi in the first place. And then if they do, that's where I'm gonna be at because I just need a little time to decompress. I've, I'm feeling my body, I'm present in my body, and I'm not 100% happy with the feeling I'm feeling in this moment. So I need to do things to release it because it's okay and this too shall pass. Dang y'all, so they don't have a jacuzzi. I'm at the pool, it's just a pool. And I can't swim right now like I want to only because I'm trying to maintain the hair and the lashes till the photo shoot on Wednesday. Typical Dom would go swimming. My hair never stopped me, but these lashes gonna stop me today because I got a photo shoot tomorrow that I cannot afford to F around with. You know, big investment. So I'm not gonna be swimming. Maybe I should just go walk on the treadmill. I'm gonna have breakfast and see how it goes after that. And I got some grapes in my room. I do love grapes. Maybe they'll make me happy. I'm gonna figure this out. It's okay. So that's the hot water. And I got my own oatmeal in my room. Peaches and cream, of course, we're gonna do two packets of that. I got one in there already. That'll make me happy. And then grapes, I freaking love grapes. Like a lot. I have a strange obsession. So. Now, I'm excited about these grapes though because they're much smaller than the grapes that I get in New Jersey. And when I was in Germany, the grapes were tiny too. So it makes you wonder like, what am I eating? Because I love my grapes at home. Just like water, not all grapes taste the same. I also decided, I also decided in order to just feel different and like almost change my, I don't know if feng shui is for people, but like the energy to shift the energy, I'm gonna sit in the living room and eat it and watch whatever's in the living room TV. Just try to do something different to switch it up because currently that's a lot of water in my oatmeal. Um, <laughs> currently I just, I just need to feel different. I just need to feel different. different good, not different. I, I have my own orange juice. I'm gonna drink orange juice. Like these are things that I know make me happy. So maybe they'll get her inside a little bit more excited. To be honest, I think I just didn't sleep well because my back hurts really bad right now. So maybe I just didn't sleep well. Yeah, and then, cause yesterday when I was feeling so great, I was up at like four or five o'clock in the morning. Today I didn't get up till nine, but I was tired. So I like, I kept sleeping, but maybe God wanted to talk to me. I don't know. I'm just figuring it out just like everybody else. And I'm definitely figuring out this coffee machine because my oatmeal is flooded. My oatmeal is all the way flooded. So 
I was, I, I am gonna talk to God. I'm walking back and forth talking to God. I think he wants to talk to me because all I wanted to do was sit down and watch the living room TV to change the energy, like I said in the last video, the TV won't turn on. So I was pacing, eating a banana, talking to God. I decided to record the end of it. And I'm gonna keep talking to him while I try to get my laptop up, even though that's not really working too well either. So if there's something he wants to say, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And it's probably exactly what I need because I still gotta write this script, like, Maybe I'm under attack because my energy is off right now. And then with all this BS happening around me, I'm like, okay, well, what's going on, you know? God wants to talk, God wants to talk, and... I don't know. Praise God in the meantime, hallelujah. Praise God in the meantime. We're gonna get through this. This is, this is okay, this is regular. Your feelings are not in control of your destiny and your feelings have nothing to do with your destiny. So don't let them control it, keep going. And I'm gonna show you by example, because today's gonna be a great day. I know it, I believe it, and it is true. So it is. Okay, this is my breakfast. It's some core water, shout out to core water. Um, two cups of coffee, one with two cream and two equal, the other one with, no. Yeah, the other one with just one cream, no equal, so it's like semi-black. A bowl of grapes, because they make me happy. And a bowl of peaches and cream oatmeal because peaches and cream because we're in Georgia, right? <laughs> okay, so update. I tried to get it on the laptop. The laptop wouldn't load. So now I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just use my phone. I get on my phone. I pull up um, the No For Sure podcast because they usually bring me comfort. I start listening to it. And then I wanted to check my horoscope while they were talking. And what I've been doing is, instead of checking my horoscope first, like my CoStar app, because I do love the CoStar app, but I, I understand that there is a discrepancy with that in my religion. So, um, and I'm, I'm trying to work through it. So instead of pulling up the CoStar app first in my day for guidance, I, I make it a point to pull up the Bible app and just to go through the, the steps with it and everything, because it has a whole flow that it, it asks you to follow. So I go on and it was Chronicles 29.11. Yes, it was first Chronicles 29.11. And um, it was just talking about how everything is God's. Everything. And at first I'm like, so, like, after reading it, I'm like, hmm, so I don't own anything? I'm saying, no, you don't, you don't own anything. You don't even own yourself. There is, it's not yours. None of this is yours. So then I watched the video from the, the pastor on it. I'm listening. I'm like, okay. And then it brings you to the prompt. And by the end of the prompt, I was like, okay, I understand. And this, this is all, these are all just gifts. Anything good is God's. It, it, that's literally what it, anything good is God. And I have been shown so much goodness. And so I just start reflecting on it. And then I'm doing the prompts and, and it asks you to pray. And then it gives you a uh, devotional and all that. So I did it all. And by the end of the prayer, I added more stuff because I like, I feel it. And the peace that has just come over me I'm not going to say that I feel like amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm the happiest. And I'm not going to tell you that. But I'll tell you that nasty feeling of discomfort I had that I couldn't explain in the last few videos. It has subsided. It flatlined. I can't describe it any better than that. It flatlined. And now I'm excited to like go back to the No For Sure podcast and drink this coffee and sip this water and just get ready for the day. So... There is something to that. If you if you saw the nugget, take it. If you can't relate, then just keep walking. Went to make a video to give y'all more content. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God anyway, hallelujah. Okay, y'all, literally, okay. Okay, y'all, literally, this is a super quick, just a little snippet of what the situation is today. 
because things happen and we're going to make the best of things. So um, this is the outfit. I did my makeup and everything. I had a call with my mentor today and things of that nature. I'm not going exactly. Today hasn't started off on the best, 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 best foot, but it's okay because I'm going to make the best of it. It's going to end so superb. So, this is the first outfit. change the angle all right so we're gonna do a big messy bun with a with a hard bang let me just go get my pins so I did bring a bag of a bunch of um, hair things rubber bands and such so we're gonna see if we can spice it up I'm kind of doing this part on the fly I didn't plan um, for this bun but that's okay because Come on, you got it. So, uh, first thing I usually do, I want a bang. Do I want to go this way? I think, yeah. So, I just try to split it, see what's going on. All right, she is split now. Bang time. Is that too much bang? This is gonna be too much bang here, but got this here. And like, even when I get my hair done, I love doing my hair. It's just me, see what I mean? Is that thick enough? I just love doing my hair. So, and I just don't like having like hair, fall, like all this. I, I, and I hate that feeling of like, oh, cause you know, it's not who I am. So there's the bang there, right? So I'm gonna take this hair with the bang and I'm just gonna, this rubber band is probably better for the bun. I'm just gonna because I want it to be banged. Now, also with that said, I can't see as well, but it's okay. Now with locks, what I notice is you have to put some up to give it a root and then you build your bun around it. I learned that the first time I had locks. So I just I want y'all to see this whole body situation. I'm about to move that camera back. I want y'all to see this whole yada yada situation. Cause I want you to see this. What? You gotta see this. Hold on, pause. Okay. You got most of the yaddy. Not all of it. Okay. So what I do is typically I throw. Okay, pitch. So this is bang, bang left shoulder. I like to roll on the right. Sometimes I like twist it. I'll twist it like this. Other times I just roll it. But because I wanted to have a little bit more structure because I am going for a less messy bun, I'm going to twist it. So now that I've twisted it right, I kind of push to make sure that it swoops up on the head nice. See? And it's really, I can't explain it any better because it's very much a feeling for me. I always tuck the top and kind of pull and push and pull and push. And I like my hair pulled, so this doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> so, I can, <laughs> so I can just do that. Try to get it as popping as possible. Just... Okay, so now that I'm around, there's little scrappers, but I don't pay them very much mind because I like it. Okay, see? You can already see the look that I'm going for. I like the little Lucy's. That doesn't bother me. Now what I do is take my pins. I always bring a bag of bobby pins with me everywhere I go. And it's profuse amounts because bobby pins get lost, they drop, you put them in your mouth, like. Okay, and then I just begin to pin. So first thing, I'm gonna pin the end part about three times for security. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, three times. Do things in threes, okay? I'm not gonna lie though, and that was confirmation. I'm not gonna lie though, when I was younger and my OCD was like really bad, I used to do things in fours. So, 
I don't know if that means anything, but sidebar. So let me keep going. Okay, so now that that's pinned, it is pinned. It, it seems secure. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it seems secure to me. I'm gonna pin it one more time. See how it's slipping? Gravity. Gravity is working against me. <laughs> okay, that is now the final look. Hands, hair, body. Oops, body. And the body is body. And I also have um, a like bodybuilder brush, but I already did all that Fenty, so the glow, it's all Fenty look. Ooh, rich chick energy. Ooh, I can tell you got So that is the look for today. I'm gonna attach pictures too, because we're gonna take professional pictures. I'm gonna attach some pictures so you can see my shoes. I know you can't see my feet. Um, this dress. I think we decided to go with black shoes with this dress, but I have to call my mother and get to confirm that. Oh Lord. Okay, but that's it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that you like what you see. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed me or you just enjoyed my energy, I got a lot more coming for you because I found my purpose. So you know it's coming. Again, I'm Dominique Spinelli. Thank you so much. And have a great day. Be blessed. Be a blessing. Okay, my partner's here. I had to ignore two of her phone calls because I was TikToking, okay? Gotta get the content. Look at me. Gotta get the content. But I'm coming. Look, I'm coming. I'm coming. Not if I go that way. I'm coming. Here I come. Walking through the door. Uh, adios, lady. See you later. Yeah. See what I mean? But I'm out here. I don't even see her. So we just out here. All right. I'll figure it out. I know the license plate number because I'll be paying attention. Is that them? That ain't them either. Hold on. Up, oh, found her. All right. Yeah, so we going. Yeah. I hope I got my Faha in this bag. I'm pretty sure I do though. Damn, I look good. Look at the sign. Ah, uh, uh, look at Gucci. That Uji Gucci nigga. One of the therapists was like, wow, look at your eyes. We could see your eyes. I was like, that's hilarious.
two. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Okay guys, so we're here again at the Plug ATL. I'm gonna take you guys on a short little trip around so you can see what they have in store. There are so many things to look at. So let's just explore. So you walk through, pow, got the little. And we keep going. So now I'm gonna walk in backwards so you can see what I'm seeing. So you walk in, that's our particular background. You can change the colors and everything, or no color at all, depending on what you're into. And we have a little kitchen area. Think big, B. So you got all that. Also, you keep going, and there's an actual podcast desk space, as well as another room here for meetings and stuff oh it's the same room that's how you know the glass is too dark so and then they've got another space here and a recording room here where you can see the mic and everything yeah so then we go past go through the front desk got a little bit of snacks the bathroom is that way let's take a little video in front of the wall shall we I got the water, the, look at all my drinks, and the lotion. If that's not the most dominant thing you've ever seen, that's literally me by definition. A whole bunch of beverages and some lotion. So yeah. And I guess that's Shelly the tissue side. <laughs> Bottle body, ego. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want this coke bottle body. <laughs> for real, that would only count for the glass. <laughs> okay, y'all. Day two. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Day two. These episodes got a little bit deeper and like heavier but they're pretty good. So be sure to tune in and I'll see you guys there.